What's up guys? Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to be checking out the add-on random flow and how you can use it to really quickly create things like plating and other different like sci-fi type materials, adding pipes, other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download random flow from the Blender market. I will link to that in the notes down below, or you can visit the cgessentials.com slash random flow. And note that this is currently on sale inside of the Blender market Black Friday sale. So if this is something that you're interested in, this might be a good time to check this out. If you're watching the video after the Black Friday sale, it's still a great add-on. Just know that currently that Black Friday sale is going on. And so we've talked about this a little bit before. Um, there are links to like documentation down here. There's actually a fair amount of information about how to use it. I'm on Blender Guppy's YouTube channel as well. But what we wanna do is let's just start by creating a simple shape. So we're just gonna do a Shift A. We're gonna add a mesh. So we'll add a plane like this. And then I'm just gonna scale it. So I'm gonna do an S Y to scale it on the Y axis. And then I'm just going to apply my rotation and scale tab into edit mode and do a control R and let's add some loop cuts. And in this case, I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel up a little bit until I get one, two, three, four loop cuts right here. And then what we want to do is we just want to select those or I'm going to right click and then we just want to select those. So I'm just going to click and drag here um, and I'm going to go ahead and select edges. So we're just going to select these four edges and we're going to move them up. So what that's going to do is that's going to give us kind of a trench look in here, which is kind of what we're going for. I'm just going to scale this in on the Y axis. And so then what we can do is we can use this in order to create kind of a trench. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a control R and add a loop cut right here. And then I'm just going to tab into object mode. I'm just going to add an array modifier and I'm just going to create some copies in this direction. And basically what I want is I want this there to be a trench in here um, that's got some decent detail in it. So this has some pretty decent geometric detail. So we can go ahead and we can just apply this modifier. And so what we've done is we've basically created a trench in here that has some geometric detail inside of it. Now what we can do is we can start adding detail using random flow. So you need to make sure that you have random flow enabled. Note that there's a keyboard shortcut set of shift Q in order to enable this. And so the way this tool works is first thing you need to do is you need to select some faces. So for example, if I was to tab into edit mode, we just want to select a few faces. And in this case, we'll just go ahead and let's start by, I'm going to use my select circle. and I'm just going to select some random faces. And we may want to tap three in order to be in face select mode, but I'm just going to select some random faces in here. And then we're going to tab back into object mode. So I'm gonna do a tab right here and then we're just gonna do a shift Q in order to bring up that random flow window. And in this case, I'm gonna start by, let's go ahead and let's do some random panels. And so notice how when we select the option for random panels, nothing's showing up in here yet. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag the depth up a little bit. Notice how the depth is gonna set how far off of the surface these panels are created. And so notice what this is doing is this is basically just coming in here and it's creating beveled panels on this surface. Well, you can adjust the size of those panels using this slider right here, as well as the amount of panels that are going to be placed on your selection. So I'm going to leave this at 100%. I'm going to drag my panel size down a little bit. And then again, notice how you can set your thickness just by clicking and dragging on your depth right here. And then your margin is going to adjust the spacing between those panels. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to add some panels on here to make this look a little bit more like it's some kind of a sci-fi surface, right? So probably what I would do is I would run this again, maybe over here like this, do a shift Q and we'll just do the same thing right here. And we'll just use the seed in order to adjust this. And I'm going to adjust these so maybe they're a little bit thicker like this. You can also mess around with the bevel and stuff. We're not going to worry too much about that for right now. And so what we've done is we've basically created some panels on this surface, right? They're just panels that stick up off the surface. Well, now what I want to do is I want to start adding some detail with a random extrude. And so for the random extrude, I'm just gonna select everything. So I'm just gonna tab into edit mode right here, and I'm just gonna hit A to select all. 
And so what we're going to do is we're going to tab out of edit mode and just do a shift Q right here. And we're going to select the option for random extrude instead of random panels. So when we do that, notice how we can select loops in here and that's going to basically come in here and add random extrusions on our surfaces right here. So I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to do a shift Q and notice how if you do a shift click and select this, this is basically going to go to higher levels inside of here. So it's going to basically random extrude and then it's going to random extrude again and random extrude again. So notice how you get like multiple different panels coming off of here. So I'm going to do a control Z. And so in this case, I just want to select these two options right here. Notice how you can adjust things like your depth on your random extrusions down below using these sliders. And so one thing you might have noticed here is the results kind of blah. And so the reason the result is kind of blah is because right now um, this is only using the geometric detail that we already had in here. Well, if you go down to this button right here, you can increase the number of subdivisions that are used inside of the uh, inside of the program or inside of the add-on in order to um, generate those second and third levels. So notice how if I bring this up a little bit, now I'm getting these surfaces kind of subdivided and I'm getting a better result um, when it comes to the random extrusion. So if you don't like the results that you're getting, try messing around with that subdivision function down below and you can see how this gives us a lot better result. And so we've got these kind of placed in here and I think we're getting a pretty good result from a paneling standpoint. Let's say that we wanted to add some piping. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tab into edit mode and I'm just going to select these faces and these faces. And then I'm going to tab back into object mode. I'm going to do another shift Q. Well, notice how in this case, there's an option for random tubes that we're going to select, but you can use this in order to adjust the number of tubes that are created as well as things like the offset, which is going to set how far off of your surfaces these are going to go. You can use other things too, like the margin in order to set how those are placed as well as the curve, which can let you set the actual thickness of those tubes. So this is one, again, you may wanna play around with a little bit more. I find a lot of the time if I select either like shortest or longest, I get a better result. But notice how then when you select shortest and longest, then um, you can really kind of come in here and fine tune the tubes and pipes that are created inside of this add-on. So then from here, you can either come in here and notice how all of these, by the way, are being added as their own groups. So you can select overall groups in here. But let's say, for example, that I wanted to add a little bit more detail to these panels. Well, I could just select them, tab into them and select the surfaces, and then just do a shift Q and add random extrude to those as well. So you can start adding multiple different layers of detail in here just by tabbing in here and selecting these different surfaces. All right, so I will link to random flow on this page as well as a couple other tutorials I've done about how to use it. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you're interested in this add-on, if you've used it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.